Ladies and gentlemen, today's in-depth review is of the Star Wars a Desert Land Speeder. Let's do this. So first things first, I never noticed this. Victoria's Cantina told me about it. I told her that I bought the Desert Land Speeder, you know, Finn's vehicle. And she said, you know what, Matt, I don't think this vehicle is going to be in the movie. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? And she said, there is no Force Awakens logo underneath the Star Wars logo at the top left. Like there should be if something is from the Force Awakens. And I said, no way, are you kidding me? And I looked and she was right. It is not there. It's gone. And after we've seen the film, this vehicle is not in the movie. We do get a really cool fin three and three quarters inch. We do not get this on card. So if you want Finn without his jacket, just a little black sweater with the whole 10 seconds he's in the film of, you have to buy this vehicle. And this is a expensive vehicle as well. So let's look at the front of the box here. I already talked about that guy, Kylo Ren, on the top right. Look at this immaculate box artwork. This is incredible packaging. It's supposed to sell you the product, and this sells me it. You got like two big ass guns going on here one at the top turret, and one at the middle. And this just looks like one crazy ass contraption. Finn Jakku here on the right. Bottom left, it says Desert Land Speeder, ages four and up. Assembly required, no tools are needed. Right there is a firing missile. This is a fantasy scene. So that makes sense after we see the movie. That must be the Jakku logo for the environment. Has what Disney, yada yada yada. On the side here, it's nothing but a Star Wars logo in the side window to look. On the left side is a really cool, high quality artist rendition of Finn. It looks just like John Boyega with Poe's jacket, his gun. And it fades into smoke with the Disney logo on the bottom. And it is the exact same one here on the basic series card. Really cool. So here's the back of the box. Just the general gist of it. This has to be Jakku there at the top. Here is the text on the top right. Pause it if you like to read. Right below that we have some action shots of Finn inside of his vehicle. Loosely termed. Top there he's riding it middle portion there he is in the turret and on the bottom there's the missile projectile coming out of the middle of the vehicle so here is the picture of the toy absolutely no airbrushing good picture of finn the vehicle it looks pretty cool numbers in the box lovely standard we have a picture of a deluxe figure regular basic and then a vehicle so we have luke from jedi Flame Trooper from basic card of this film and this film's Ray Speeder, which we've done a review of as well. We have a bunch of warnings and a bunch of different languages. Disney logo, Hasbro logo, website. Ray Jacu figures sold separately with Ray Speeder Jacu. I don't know why they would say that because she's not included in any of this artwork. Kind of weird. Special edition Finn Jacu. Like I said before, you have to buy this vehicle to get that. And. Right there in the bottom it says includes vehicle, figure, accessory, two projectiles, and instructions. So let's unbox this. Oh, trusty unboxing knife. So good. Okay, so here is the instruction manual. It's just one piece of paper, just like Ray Speeder was. There we have a black and white drawing of fit in the vehicle. In the back here shows the assembly, put the stickers where they should, yada yada yada, how to use the projectile right there. Looks like there's not a projectile for the Top Gun turret, even though we have a little artwork showing that it is. How to put it together, put the ring. I'm not an idiot. I'm a man. I can do this. All right, so we're going to talk Finn first. This is his head sculpt. Looks pretty good. Might as well compare it to basic. I'd say the one on the exclusive here compared to the basic the eyes look far better. So I think the head sculpt looks better for this fin. That's great. You can see the shirt looks different than this shirt. It's got more ripples here in the middle compared to that one. It's more of a flat, especially in the middle of the chest there. More towards the abs. Let's see if the gun is the same thing. The gun is maybe the same sculpt, but they're different paints it looks like. Looks like the one the exclusive here is holding is more of a green compared to that one. You can see the color difference there. It's more of like a gray. Same height, yes. Same shoes, they look like it. If you're alarmed by the little thing there, the little nick, 
all of them have that. I was actually looking around like, what is that? No, I can't take it. And then I uh, looked around and saw they're all like that. So here's the back, nice rippling, nice little fabric. This is actually a really nice three and three quarter inch figure. You got like the shirt at the top there. This is all, you know, your first order standard undergarments. Long sleeves, it looks like he's got some paint blemishes onto his hands. There and there, lovely. I like the little uh, white sand almost, like airbrush touching top and the bottom. Continues onto his pants, cargo pant type deal going on there. Side pockets, line with the seam, wrinkles. This is a really nice looking figure. On the other side, another pocket right there. Line for the seam, wrinkles. Looks like the only sand airbrushing type deal. Gold looking thing is right there on the right knee and throughout the thigh and shin, but nowhere else. Bottom features pegs to put him in along with his white shoes. So look like they're the same as the basic car did. He can sit down to pilot, another paint blemish right there, to pilot his vehicle. Head moves on a 360. Leg articulations like that. Arms go on a 360. So that's Finn. Really cool figure. That head looks just like John Boyega. So here's a shot of the gun. It's actually pretty nice detailing for three and three quarters inch. I really like the little like grip shotgun type handle right there at the bottom. It's actually not too bad. So I'm gonna keep this in the background just for a quick second to show you concept versus the product we get. You can see here you have a red little like tarp thing going on, like a hammock. Here it's just gray. Oh, lovely. There are no little like holsters right here for this bazooka projectile compared to the concept art. This looks like it's like strapped in in the middle portion that goes to the gun turret here. That's not like that at all. This is just some kind of like random treasure chest briefcase thing going on. And then this is a turret by itself rather than resting on top of something. Now, as you see, we got some like maroon type deal going on there. Right here, we do see some maroon detailing. It's nearly the same. I do like the flaps here in the front. The guns they look okay. Like this whole front section of this ship looks nice. This uh, desert land spader. Flaps here in the front. Good detailing. There's the sucked out portion of the bottom, which is all the same color, which is the same color as the sides here. It's kind of cheap. Maybe I should have had like a brown. Like just a spray paint and then it fades up to show some wear. This obviously has a lot of wear. You see all the dirt here. It looks really worn down. The silver up top there. And you can see the silver here is totally not worn at all. Very generic paint apps on this guy. No wear. This looks nice. Maroon. You got almost a zipper-like detailing there. Black. This is really cheap detailing looks like some kind of side gun molded into the damn ship uh or maybe it's some part of exhaust which i get i get to right now that does look nice that's nicely detailed the little flap cover up top of it a little side ribbing there and this accessory on the side on the back the exhaust looks really nice even back here that's really nice paint app once again fails me could put some kind of like burnage some black stuff back piece here beige decent detailing with this silver so this is a nice little two-tone thing going down if they would have fixed this up it wouldn't be so cheap i mean this, this looks like a toy and the rest of this looks like a model but you can see the detailing is not too bad here at least on the back side the front side there this is lacking but i don't know the seat looks really cheap Let's go to the other side, pretty much identical. We're getting close. So you can see the detailing. Let me move that out of the way. Don't know what the hell that thing is. Flashlight, maybe? Sucked in little, I don't know. He can barely see out of the vehicle. We're gonna put him here in a second. But that's kind of illogical. That's, you know, the, the top console, I guess. But, ugh. Just really cheap plastic top here. That's just all gray. The detailing screams toy rather than model. Uh, I know it's supposed to be a toy and you're probably thinking, but it's supposed to be a toy. Well, uh, I would like toys to look like models and still be like action features and stuff. 
you can see here the toy is a eh. and this is a pretty expensive toy too so i don't know people the turret here's the detailing very glossed over like this portion and this portion looks like you fire off with the top there it does fire pretty powerful so don't shoot your eye out and this one fits in pretty nicely on the side there in case if you shoot this off and you lose it or you don't want to go retrieve it turret up top it's actually nice detailing there's a lot of nice little knife marks for that to make it look like a nice little gun and it pivots on a 360 what i like about this is oh my god what the hell was that i guess that's an action feature i don't know if that's included in the instructions or not i guess that's kind of cool so i guess the gun blows up makes no damn sense this left side will come off and this one's still permanently attached to it so that's interesting it's kind of a weird gun too because it's a dual barrel but it looks like it has dual scopes it's kind of odd but yeah, well, that, oh that was pretty easy to come off yeah, these don't really lock these lock here at the front but these do not lock here at the back at all so this might come off easily or if you have some jurassic park toys a dinosaur can come and attack so that's just probably what i'll be doing something else i noticed about this artwork that i guess possibly could be daisy ridley's ray and that could be finn but that looks like a dude's hands that could be possibly ray it looks more like a chick but i don't know about these costumings the only reason I say that is because, I mean, we have him here in the artwork and he's, you know, managing the turret, which is great because it moves in a 360 like you see. And I guess if you move it too much in a 360, it's going to break apart. That sucks. I really wish that was just uh, one piece so he could rotate around and not worry about a damn thing. It looks like he got caught there. And I guess he's eventually going to get caught like he just did right now and break apart man this toy is really isn't that good especially for the price point it's at and here he already broke off too it's uh, you know without the box it doesn't look too bad but when you compare it to what it's supposed to be it just looks so cheap rotating him is kind of a pain look at i just tried to rotate him right now and he's already caught oh god i don't know about this man all right so we got him situated in his seat he is gripping the steering wheel and uh i don't know how he is supposed to see out of his vehicle. I know it's maybe supposed to be like that, but uh, this is dead on to you guys. And you can see that he cannot see. So you can see right there, his eyes are pretty much concentrated on that and he, he can't see it all out of this. That's ridiculous, man. I don't know about these Hasbro engineers, man. So I open it up and what you have to do is put a sticker there and put a sticker there we'll get to that one in a second and here's the inner console you can see that there's actually not too bad amount of detailing right there and the seat doesn't look too bad either there's the other side there's fin inside the seat nice little buttons some kind of joystick some more detailing right there and then the actual steering wheel itself take out fin to show you more so the steering wheel moves on a 360 that's about it it's got a couple of different colored plastics pretty much a silver a darker desaturated brown and then a gray slash silver and then another gray so it looks eh, looks okay serviceable i don't know what the hell that is oh those are screw holes Ta -da! two screw holes in the bottom the front and then the far back got two more Great, put it at the bottom where it belongs. Detailing of the seat looks okay. We got cushions. I find it kind of weird that this seat, nicely detailed, separate piece that they glued in or whatever. And this is kind of just, eh. <laughs> you can fit a figure in there. It's a different height than the other figure. So there's the height of that one. There's the height of that one. And I, if I had to guess, let's put this back on, that if you put another figure in that shotgun, that it is not going to fit. It's a little high, but we're gonna test it out. No, it looks like it'll barely fit. So you put a figure in there, it will fit. Even though I guess it's supposed to be the turret 
and uh, they raised up this seat engineer purposes so you can stand in the turret and shoot people or things. Here's the console, you can put a sticker on. You can see just the detailing, what I'm talking about. This looks okay, and it gets very meh. Around there, it looks eh. And then around here, it looks ugh. I don't know. This looks nice on the outside, but uh, overall, when it's all together, mm. So really cool box, it sold me to buy the item, and uh... I'm kind of disappointed by this. I'm going to flip it to my resident Star Wars expert, Chris, to see what he has to say about Desert Land Speeder with Finn. Take it away, Chris. Well, first off, since I, you know, am kind of the movie guy, I have to say this isn't in the movie. So it's sort of like a gigantic cash grab. It's one of those things where when I see it, I think to myself, <laughs> like, who thought this up? Like, was it like a concept art that they gave Hasbro like maybe they were going to use or is it a deleted scene maybe that's going to be in the dvd because there is some deleted stuff on jakku that wasn't in the movie um as for the figure itself and the toy inside of it it's okay i i, I personally wouldn't buy it for the price point it's a lot better than pose x-wing that was like 50 dollars. i actually like how everything looks fairly straight and aligned it's not like crooked which is cool because like everything on my poe dameron x-wing is like bleh, like lopsided basically I like the fact that he actually fits inside of it, for one. Because, again, like my Poe uh, Dameron X-Wing, I could barely fit him inside of it. So the fact that he actually fits inside, that's a plus. But for the most part, I personally wouldn't buy this. If you like the way it looks, go ahead. It's not that expensive, but it has nothing to do with the movie. So it's basically just a cash grab on something that wasn't in the film. But for a, from a toy perspective, it looks fine for what it does. All right, so this list price of 30 bucks out of 10 what would you give it? I personally feel like I I have no interest in it. If I had interest in it and I was excited about getting this, I suppose I'd probably give it like a six. Yeah, I was actually going to go with a seven. So I guess we'll go with like a six and a half. So it doesn't get the loved it seal of approval. All right, guys, six and a half for the show. Thank you very much, Chris. $30 list price. I really want it. Go and get it. May the force be with you. Pew, pew. This figure looks amazing. I honestly don't really have any negatives about it. The back looks great, too. It has the little backpack thing. I actually don't know what that's called. I was actually waiting because I've been like, what the hell is this? You know what? I'm just going for Chris. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nope, I don't know what that's called, unfortunately. Whoopsies. I do love the look of this thing. There's a shit ton of articulation. You can move him in all different types of ways. You can make him look like his arms are broken or his legs are broken behind him. It's, it's awesome. 